So let's pick a nose and get that pencil moving. Drawing noses is challenging. They're kind of a simple shape and I'll show you some of my steps on how I learned to draw the face and noses. And I use unsplash.com and I got a lot of profile pictures. There'll be a link in the description and get some noses to draw. Okay, like I said, let's pick a nose. Here's another one. Now her nose sort of slopes and points a little bit and is a little bit blocky here. Slightly rounded and then comes down and her nostrils a little bigger. So let's just block it in first. You can kind of see where that, where this shape is here. It's straight down, straight, and then straight. So I just kind of block that in. And then you could see the relationship, how far out her lip is from the end of the nose. And we'll do a, a mouth lesson another time, but we're just talking about noses. And now you see this ellipse that's kind of on the side. and the flare comes around and it's a little more tapered here. And then if we were to ink that in, now we can round off those shapes. It's more rounded. I blocked it in, but then we can round it. And just be just delicate on the nostril line no need to get heavy on it now we got a little kid's face and you can see how it's just a nice little rounded shape here and then you can see where his lip and the nose are kind of in the same plane here that's what i'm talking about when we look at the relationships with everything you know we kind of have a triangle shape in here that contains the nose and then we have this other triangle here that has the mouth and you can see his mouth is coming down a little farther so maybe we want to exaggerate that a bit and then here's another kind of a big almost a square if we go back you know this could just be a, a cube and then we'll add in the shape so and on kids their chin is small their chin doesn't come out too big and their cheeks are big and round and up against the front of the face a little more so now i have all this kind of blocked in where i want and then we can start rounding it up and adding more detail And we don't draw every tooth. We just kind of get the idea that his mouth is open. And we can even exaggerate that a little bigger. So where he's kind of laughing and gets that lip coming out. Actually, almost a little forward, but not too big. You don't want to stick it out too much. On kids, you don't want to exaggerate too much. There's no making fun of kids when you're drawing caricatures. You make them look adorable because usually their parents are paying for it. So it's a nice rounded shape and this cheek is right up against here. And we'll go ahead and get the eye shape in here. Another triangle on its side. And how the little bottom of the eye is connected to the cheek. His eyebrow comes up. So it's really just a lot of practice with photos is how I got started. Getting coaching from my dad and my sister. She also is a really good portrait artist. I'm looking at relationships of 
and the shapes, you know, and I, I use triangles a lot as a reference and boxes. And he has good, like defined shapes here. So for the nose lesson, really a good triangle here. It's rounded on one side. But notice it's kind of a bit of a bump here. You may even want to, if you're doing that, a caricature, he's got this hot, this ridge line for his forehead. Maybe you exaggerate that a little bit of a bump, a little more. And in that shape, he's very serious. Sometimes when we're doing caricatures at parties, we want to try to get him to have a bit of a smile if you can. And then here we look at this negative space here. You know, I kind of like imagine what that shape is that came off of the end of the nose and attaches back in. And you can see his nose and chin are almost straight in line. Might even want to stick his chin out a little more. And I turn I turn his mouth up a little bit. And then, you know, really look at that shape in here. Just this kind of S curve, sort of a backwards S curve. A little darker in there. And not much of an eyelid, really, but you can see the space, which is about the same distance as his eye. So about like that, another triangle. And the eyelashes come down under. And he's a bit on the serious side, so I'm going to take that, that kind of light eyebrow he has and push it down. So he's got... He's a bit more serious. <laughs> and I try to size my drawing too. That ain't gonna work like it does here. Tip of the day. And his cheek is more flat. So I kind of gave him a more pleasant expression. And one more. There we go. She has a strong features. It's another triangle. Like I'll draw the nose first and then we'll build the rest around it. But it's rounded. But and it comes off of her forehead. You can see this is this shape down to the tip. So we have this going. Her forehead down, it curves in, she's got a, a bit of a bump. You might want to exaggerate that. Those of you who like to really get crazy with caricatures. And this is like straight across. And the lip comes out about halfway between, in line with the forehead. It's almost more of a pursed lip kind of uh, thing going on here. And now this slips back a little more, her chin. So And her nostril is more flat ellipse, not as uh, prominent as some of the others. And just a delicate line in her cheek. You can see a little bit of that dimple and the cheek line, just lightly. And then more, more triangles for eyes sideways. But she has 
the eyelid coming and light colored eyes. And we would exaggerate on those eyelashes. And that expression, she's a little more confident or And then that hair comes down in the back here. You could even exaggerate that a little more. And big earring. It's sculpting the hair. You know, she has, I might uh, redo this because see here, I'm kind of sticking the chin out a little more. And what's cool about this, uh, this watercolor wash graphite, you can still erase it. So we can lighten this up and maybe work on our expression a little more here. And get and then flip that back, and now she has a little more of that expression that's in the in the photo. We get more of that uh, more of that feeling. And we get some of the shading in here, and I'll put my my pencil to work. My brush pen. And that's a bit of nose know how. That part of our face that leads the way and gets there first, it collects molecules for the olfactory senses to warn us of possible danger. It picks up aromas that can spark fond memories of home cooked meals, yummy treats, dad's stinky feet, a walk on the beach, a collector's edition leather bound book, or a great cup of coffee. Keep that pencil moving, and we'll talk next time.